I like anal. But I also like card tricks. So today I'm going to show you guys a card trick and a card move that you might use for other tricks. Fucking always with the double back card. God damn it. Well, anyway, some of you guys have been asking about this little flippy spin shit. So I'll be showing you guys that and another move. That's right. We got two moves today. Fuck us. The first move is going to be this little pirouette thing that a bunch of you guys have been asking about and asking me to show you how to do it. But this move is not that difficult. First thing you need to do is you need to hold the card with your middle finger around the center and you're going to use this finger right here, the forefinger, your mom's favorite finger. That is going to do all the work. This finger is actually going to do the work of spinning the card clockwise. So once again, you're going to hold the card between your middle finger and your thumb. Son of a bitch. Do you see this fucking sun in this fucking room? God damn it. Let me just... All right. Okay. Okay, I, th I think we're good here. Son of a bitch. Anyways, all right, so back to the gay spin move. So you are holding the card between your middle finger and your thumb, and you're using your forefinger to spin it clockwise. Now, once again, the card is going to be balanced on your middle finger as your forefinger spins the card clockwise. Now, you're going to try to find a balance between letting the card go and keeping the card balanced. You want to spin the card clockwise. At first, you don't want to worry about the card spinning too much. You just want to get the card to spin at all. If the card can spin a little bit, then you are doing it right. If the card is falling out of your hands, then you are working too hard. So you just want to balance that right and just get the card spinning a couple times. Now, I know it's going to be very tempting to want to spin the card as many times as you see those people on Illusionist or Theory 11 or one of the other f but at first, you just want to focus on spinning the card end for end. So as long as you can do that, that is the first step to being able to spin the card and keep it balanced on your finger as much as you see these people do it on these f***ing websites. The main difficulty in this move is just having the card balanced on your middle finger while your forefinger is doing all the spinning. Then you can eventually have the card spin out a lot and keep it balanced on your finger without fear of the card falling off. So that is that for that card spinny sh**. The next thing is a card move, but the best way to show it is within the context of a trick. So for this case, a spectator can say stop as you deal the cards. Of course, because they are pieces of shit, they'll say stop pretty far in the deck. Then you ask another spectator to do the same thing. They say stop whenever they want. And yeah, you ask another spectator to say stop whenever they want. And they do that. And then another one. You go through the exact same process with them. They say stop wherever they want. And of course, you manage to show them that they have stopped on each and every single one of the aces, the ace of hearts, the ace of spades, the ace of clubs, and lastly, the ace of diamonds, Bukaki party for everyone. If you haven't had a Bukaki party yet, I highly suggest to wait till after you are 13 years of age as to have it symbolize the passage from childhood to adulthood. So this is not about the trick, fuck the trick. This is actually about the move itself, which is actually a modified bottom deal. Now this is not gonna be the typical bottom deal where you have to hold the cards in your left hand and you have to squeeze the deck and do some complicated to take the card out. This is actually almost self-working. So the deal itself is done from the right hand. To show you the exposed angle, that card is the one that is being dealt and it's the original bottom card, then a couple cards are dealt on top of that. Now I know the move might seem obvious out of context, but remember you're doing it to spectators which are more likely autistic. So a minor distraction will be enough for them to miss the move entirely. So to break the move down harder than my father broke our family apart, I'm actually gonna turn the card on the bottom face down as to make it easier to follow. The first thing you need to do is hold the cards in your right hand and using the middle finger and ring finger, you're gonna squeeze the card and separate it from the deck. Now, the separation shouldn't be too much. As a matter of fact, it should only be about the same size as your micro dick, but apart from that, Keep in mind that this position is only going to be held for maybe a fraction of a second. So let me just show you all around what this looks like. And it's being covered by your hand. So as you put the cards on your left hand, this card is going to be kept in your right hand and be dragged out as it's being dealt as the first card. If only there was a way to see through the deck and make this explanation easier. Oh, wait, these card trainers. Yeah, there you go. How's that for a cheap plug? So these uh, hopefully will allow you to see through the deck and make the explanation a little bit easier. Remember, we're dealing the bottom card, so that will be represented by this five of spades. So you're holding the cards in your right hand and you're squeezing the deck with your fingers to separate the card from the deck as the rest of the cards are put in the left hand and that card is being dragged out to be dealt, followed by a couple more cards to be dealt on top of it. So that completes 
the bottom deal portion. Now to break this down a little bit further, remember that you are first holding the cards in your left hand, then you have to come up with some sort of reasonable excuse to transfer the cards to your right hand, maybe call them a f face, I don't know, whatever is manageable in your country as you do the sneaky hidden move. Transfer the cards back to your left hand, of course, keeping that card in the right hand, and that's the first card to be dealt, followed by the next subsequent cards. So that is the move. Hopefully that block made it a lot easier to follow, but it's not a hard move to get. First thing you just need to learn is how to separate the card without seeming like you are autistic. So with the deck in hand, the move should look like this in speed. Now a possible trick that you can do with this move, let's say we're gonna do the five of spades. You can deal the cards one by one from the top. Remember the five of spades is on the bottom. They can call stop wherever they want. As you ask them if that's where they want it to stop, you do the sneaky move with your right hand. And of course, this is the card that gets dealt separately to the table. If you show a couple other cards on the top saying they could have stopped anywhere, but this forces the five of spades from the bottom of the deck. Another possible sneaky move you can do is that the five of spades is on the bottom and it stays there. You deal the cards from the top and ask them to say stop wherever they want. You transfer the cards to your right hand as you ask them if that's where they want to say stop doing a sneaky move. And instead of dealing the card on the table, you're going to actually deal the card on the pile and pretend to pull the card from the pile onto the table. It's a different way of doing the same force. But in speed and the right context, it just looks like you are picking up the cards from where they say stop. But really what's happening is that you're transferring that original bottom card to the top of the pile that they stopped you at. In speed, you just deal the cards. They say stop wherever they want. And then to them, it seems like that's the card that they stopped at. But they're fucking retarded. But the four ace trick, show it. Yes, I'll fucking show it. So for this, you're going to need the small setup of one ace on top of the deck and the other three aces on the bottom of the deck. First thing you do is deal the cards onto the table and have them say stop wherever they want. Remember, the first card dealt is going to be the ace. So you deal a couple more cards on top of that. Oh, oh wait, I think I got a package. Ho hold up, hold up. Sorry about the wait. I just got my anal beads in the mail and I was so excited I couldn't help but open it. These are actually great. You can invite two friends over and have a party. But anyways, let's get back to the trick. So at this point, remember that we had the ace that was originally dealt from the top of the deck in a pile. So you can stop dealing wherever it is that they say stop. But then what you do at this point is you put the cards in your right hand and ready to do the bottom deal as you use your left hand to push the cards up, which perfectly covers the sneaky action you need to do. Then as you transfer the cards back to the left hand, you complete the bottom deal. This puts the ace on the bottom of the packet, but they don't know that yet. Remember that the reason you are putting the cards in the right hand is so you can use your left hand to push the pile up and next to the pile that you dealt previously, which allows you to do the sneaky move for your right hand and continue doing bottom deals to another spectator. They say stop. So of course this means that you are doing the same move about three times in a row, but the pushing action is more than enough to cover the actions of the right hand and to cover that card being dealt from the bottom instead of the top. And of course at this point you can show them that they managed to stop at an ace on every single pile that they dealt, which they should reward you with a nice bukkake shower. So there you go, you got two moves in one video. How fucking crazy is that? You got a little card spinny flourishy shit that everyone loves, and you got a bottom deal that doesn't require any skill, so you can dedicate more time to whatever it is that you fucking do, I really don't know. Well, I'm going to go back to uh, making use of that package that I got. I should invite over Brad Christian and Daniel Madison, and maybe we can all use this together. When I see you again, 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 when I see you again. Let me show you. Let me show you.